A top focus today comes from India, where a ray of hope is held out amidst challenges posed by the El Nino phenomenon. The Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, or the APEC Climate Center's forecast, carries the promise of a good monsoon for India and the subcontinent. Now, since June of 2023, India has been grappling with the adverse effects of El Nino, experiencing deficient rainfall across its regions. However, in a recent announcement, the APEC Climate Centre has forecast above normal rainfall for India during the upcoming southwest monsoon season, beginning June 1st. Now, according to the India Meteorological Department, or the IMD, the country is expected to receive rainfall exceeding 100% of its long period average during this critical period. This offers hope especially for the agricultural sector which has been severely impacted. Now, Apex Global Prediction covers the period from April to September 2024. It highlights an enhanced probability of above normal precipitation not only for India but also across various regions. These include the eastern of equatorial North Pacific, the western Indian Ocean and the Arabian Sea. Now, This news comes as relief after the country reported a 45% rainfall deficiency across 711 districts during the current pre-monsoon period, which started on March 1st. Now, The fluctuating weather patterns had left a marked impact on India's agriculture with crop output during the current year estimated to be lower than the previous year. While the detailed month-wise precipitation forecast is yet to be issued, the initial predictions for India from the APEC Climate Centre are optimistic. Now, parts of eastern and central China were hit by torrential rain and hailstones earlier this week resulting in severe floods that trapped cars and severely damaged property and roads. On Sunday, the region's Mingguang city witnessed a heavy downpour. The Mingguang Fire and Rescue Department got multiple emergency calls saying that multiple automobiles were stuck at a major city boulevard. When the rescue crews got to the scene, they found the avenue almost completely flooded. A mother and her son were among the trapped. The rescue workers were seen wading through knee-deep flood water to reach the pair. They managed to open the back door of their car and get them out. After an hour of hard work, all those trapped in the waterlogged section of the avenue were evacuated to safety. Meanwhile, excised hailstones rained down on Yiwu city of East China's Zhejiang province on Monday afternoon, causing severe damage to the windshield and body of vehicles. The hailstorm receded on early Tuesday morning. In a world grappling with an escalating water crisis, the United Nations has sounded the alarm on the critical link between water scarcity and global conflict. Now, the latest findings from the UNESCO World Water Development Report 2024 are troubling. Published on World Water Day, the report underscores the dire consequences of diminishing water resources with tensions mounting over access to water. The spectre of conflict looms larger, threatening peace across continents. And thus, according to a report, to preserve peace, states must boost international cooperation and transboundary agreements. At present, 3.5 billion people do not have access to properly managed sanitation and 2.2 billion people still do not have access to securely managed drinking water. As a result, the UN's 2030 target of guaranteeing this access to everyone is far from being met. And there is cause for concern that these disparities could keep growing. Droughts impacted more than 1.4 billion people between 2002 and 2021. UNESCO's Director General has issued a stark warning. With an urgent message to preserve peace, the world must not only protect water resources, but also bolster cooperation on a global scale. According to the report, climate change will make events like water shortage more frequent and severe, posing serious threats to social stability. 
Now, the initial impact can lead to the deterioration of living conditions, leading to heightened food insecurity and health risks. Now, lack of water also affects social development, especially for women and girls. The lack of water security has also been identified as one of the major drivers of migration. This displacement can in turn contribute to water insecurity by placing added strain on water systems and resources in settlement locations, thereby fueling social tensions. Such a water scarcity can increase the risk of conflict. Now, in a world thirsting for solutions, the United Nations and its partners continue to advocate equitable water management. The message is clear. Safeguarding water is not just about survival. It's about ensuring a future where peace prevails with water for all. Brazil and France have launched an investment program to protect the Brazilian Guyanese Amazon rainforest. Now, these programs involve an investment of $1.1 billion in private and public funds over the next four years. They're pledged to work together to stop deforestation in the Amazon by 2030 to contribute to slowing global warming comes two years before Brazil hosts the COP30 climate negotiation talks in Belen in 2025. The declaration was made during French President Emmanuel Macron's three-day visit to the South American nation. Brazil's President Lula da Silva welcomed Macron close to the entrance of the Amazon upon his arrival in Belém on Tuesday. The leaders of the two nations took a riverboat to visit a sustainable development project for producing chocolate on an island near Belém. They had also met with indigenous leaders. Very modestly, I want to say that we will continue to lead it alongside you. When it was necessary to support the foundation and preserve our part of the forest, we were there and we will continue to be there. With President Lula today and therefore ever stronger, because this fight has not found its end. Because today you are still fighting for the recognition of your native land. Brownie Metuktaya, an environmental advocate and leader of the Kayapo people, was awarded the National Decoration of the Legion of Honor, France's highest decoration of distinction, by President Macron during the ceremony in recognition of his efforts to safeguard indigenous rights and rainforests. Snakes, frogs and a crocodile are among the species that have taken the centre stage in a new exhibit opening at a London zoo in the British capital. Well, the exhibition was opened for the viewers last week. Our next report gets you visuals right from London Zoo. Take a look at this as we come to the end of our Climate Tracker segment. But news and updates continue after this.